Northwest Bus Sales. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2010 GMC Thomas Type A school bus. Now uh, from the time that I'm making this video, we have a few of these available. I'm excited to show it to you. Let's check it out. So this is powered by the uh, Duramax 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel engine. Got Wyatt behind the camera today doing a stellar job. He's going to give you a nice pan of the, of the engine area there. Looks nice and clean. And of course, it's a company with a automatic transmission. All right, so uh, Wyatt's gonna show you the uh, front passenger side tire here, these Mastercraft tires here. And also a little pan of underneath as well. All right, so uh, coming on inside, we have a uh, electric operated bifold passenger entry door, just like you'd see in a normal type A school bus. We got your uh, black ribbed aisleway, stepway, white step nosing going all the way up, and a grab rail here to help people in. <clears throat> all right, so uh, sitting in the driver's seat here, going from left to right, I do want to point out the miles here first. Uh, Wyatt, if you can show them that, 109. 109,000 miles, 109. So definitely a lot of life left on a Duramax diesel engine. Uh, over here to the right, we got your normal climate control, just like you'd see in your car. This is just for the driver. And then um, this does, it does have driver AC. It does not have rear passenger AC, but it does have driver AC for the driver. Uh, a Panasonic AM FM CD stereo. There is a PA mic jack here if you want to get a PA system. Two 12 volt plugs here as well. And up top here, there's kind of your control panel for the bus side of things. You do have powered mirrors, and this is for the top and bottom of the left and right mirrors. They're also heated, just for those frosty nights. You don't have to take your credit card out and scrape those off. Uh, electric operated door. And then, again, no rear AC, but it does have rear heat. So it's a three position switch, off, low, high. And then your, your dome lights and stuff. Uh, Wyatt's going to show you the driver's seat upholstery. That is, looks pert near brand new. That looks awesome. Driver's seat upholstery looks great. No big rips, cuts, tears, anything like that. Going all the way up. All right, so in the back here, we've been getting a lot of people asking for interior dimensions because they're converting them from motor homes, tiny homes, mobile shops, everything. So I'm going to give those to you right now. Uh, from the back of the driver's seat to the back wall, is 12 feet. You got 12 feet there. Interior width is seven feet, six inches. So if you think of it like a rectangle, you got 12 foot by seven and a half feet. Pretty simple. Interior height is six foot. Six foot right there. I'm 5'11", and you know, my basically my hair is kind of touching in the middle of the aisle. It does slope down a little bit. So over here, my head will touch, but overall you got six, you have six, six foot of headroom here. Uh, coming all the way to the back, Again, this is a uh, this is a 23 passenger school bus. 23. And all the way back. Seat covers are in great condition. No big rips, cuts, tears. Again, you got seat belts on all the seats. Three of the seats. I do want to point out we do have a little bit of a hole in the barrier here on the front. Um, again, that can get patched up if you need, but I just do want to point it out. Uh, above white is an emergency roof hatch up top. We got two speakers in the back. And then uh, two dome lights back there too. So that'll pretty much just do it for the inside. Let's check out the outside. <coughs> All right, Wyatt's gonna show you the rear passenger side duels here. And also give you a pan of the undercarriage as well. Give you a nice pan of the undercarriage. Uh, skirts on the bus are in good condition. They're not all dented down here. A lot of times you will see that. Rub rails are in good shape, uh, but actually really good shape going all the way down. Uh, skirt down here, almost don't even need to point it out, but just little tiny scratches probably from some, some branches or something going down there. Uh, on these corners here, this is usually where you're going to see the most damage on buses like this, people backing into stuff. And there's not a whole lot of evidence of any of that. I mean, looks good going all the way up. We got rear LED lights on the back, rear emergency exit door here. Show you that with a nice buzzer. 
Uh, rear driver's side corner, again, looks good going all the way down. Looks like we have a little bit of some scuffing here. No, nothing too crazy, but I want to point it out. Uh, White, if you can show them the windows on the side, these are pretty dark tinted windows, to be honest. All in good shape, no cracks, anything like that. Again, skirts going down are great, rub rails as well. Uh, Wyatt's going to show you the rear uh, driver's side duels. And a nice shot of underneath. All right, underneath here, have a little storage area there. Uh, you can put your tire chains or emergency triangles or whatever you need to in there. And uh, last but not least, I do want to point out the uh, front driver's side tire here. <clears throat> and that actually is not the last thing. This is probably the coolest part of this bus. Up top here, we have a 2021 Washington State Patrol Safety Inspection sticker. That is this year. That means this bus passed this inspection this year, just came out of service. Washington State Patrol seemed it safe and ready to go and now it could be yours, so pretty cool. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses in our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099, visit us at nwbus.com, or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah.